If you are like me and you were trying to find some solid tablet lately that doesn't break the bank, you know it is not as easy as it might seem. Cheap tablets with shitty specs are everywhere, but affordable tablets with good specs that can emulate PS Vita, GameCube, Dreamcast, PS2 plus bunch of latest Android games are way harder to find. Is this device one of them? Let's take a look. This, my friends, is Blackview Tab 16. It comes with 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of expandable storage, CPU is Octa-Core Unisoc Tiger T616, so very similar to T618 that is already inside of plethora handhelds like Retroid Pocket 3 Plus or Ambonic RG405M. Display is 11 inch IPS LCD with resolution 2000 by 1200 and 5 by 3 ratio. It's running Android 12 with their skin on top of it and it costs right around 150 quid. Inside of box you can find 18 watt fast charger, stylus, tempered glass screen protector and a case. I know all of you want to see how it can emulate a aforementioned system, so let's dive right into it. According to my testing, it can emulate even the hardest PSP games like Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus at playable frame rates at 2x resolution and for the most part I kept uh, auto frame skip at 1 just in case. Some games need it, some don't. Chili con Carnage was also run in full speed. Ratchet and Clank full speed. Third birthday full speed. Midnight Club LA Remix, also very good. The screen ratio is not ideal, but I kept the full screen option in the settings checked and it didn't hamper my enjoyment in the slightest. PSP emulation not bad, what else? Dreamcast emulation, also full speed via ReadRim. I'm having just the light version, so not sure how much we would have been able to upscale it. All of the games I've tried were running at native resolution and uh, I've tried 4x3, 16x9 ratio, but the most I like the stretch option because the screen is 5x3 so it is somewhere in between of those two options and it covers the full screen. I've tried Soldier of Fortune, House of the Dead 2, Red Dog Superior Firepower, Res. Sonic Adventure 2 and no issues at all. Dreamcast emulation was very satisfying indeed. This chip is more than powerful to play Dreamcast at full speed, so let's move to something more demanding like GameCube. Here it is a bit more trickier. You can run plenty games absolutely fine at default settings 1x resolution with Dolphin MMJR2. There are some frame drops and stutters, but for the most part I would consider these games to be playable. Games like Battalion Wars, Serious Sun 3, Thirteen, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Wind Waker was running a bit slower. With this chip you will not be able to enjoy all the GameCube games but still there are many that are running just fine like Beautiful Joe. Plus of course you can play with settings or try regular Dolphin emulator, some titles may perform better in there. I haven't really changed any settings or emulator, this is all default MMGR2 as I said. Now let's check something that everybody's waiting for, Vita 3K Android emulation with the latest version 7. The guys are still working on this emulator and I'm glad they do cause it's certainly a great piece of software that cannot miss in any emulation machine and cause of that we are trying it. It is still work in progress so bunch of games have various issues but bunch of games are perfectly playable like Gravity Rush that is running solid or Uncharted Golden Abyss which is also running great even on this not so powerful chip. 
compatibility list is still growing and more bug fixes are still coming. Dragon's Crown also playable, even audio was perfectly fine. Drive Girls also more than enjoyable. It is fascinating that even cheaper tablet for 150 quid can now serve as a PS Vita XL with 11 inch display. Cannot wait for upcoming Vita 3K updates. Well, I mean, it's never gonna replace any of my genuine PS Vitas, but still, it is great to see progress and innovation, which this undoubtedly is. I couldn't run Muramasa Rebirth, even though I did play it previously on a Snapdragon, and it is listed as playable. I've tried OpenGL and Vulkan backend, but no luck. Loads of different factors could play a role in here, like the chip. Dragon Quest Builders, also playable, but it is not listed as green, so I think there are some issues down the road. For PS2 emulation, I was able to run Eco at 1x resolution, at default settings, Max Payne 2 also playable. Or you could easily enjoy some less demanding games like Neo Contra. Simpsons Hit and Run was a bit slower, but again, I haven't played with any settings, all of it was on the default. This is an Android tablet, so native Android games are running fine. Call of Duty Mobile on low graphics is playable. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas also runs like a breeze. Ports of Hollow Knight and Cuphead very fun too. And physical controls were recognized straight away. I was focusing mainly on the emulation and gaming performance of this tablet. If you want to see other aspects of this device, I would recommend checking other reviews. I do really like its four speakers, they are really loud and not bad quality. 11 inch panel is not the highest quality, it could be brighter, but for that price it is also not bad. There is no headphone jack, companies don't care anymore, I still do care about it for some reason. Battery is quite large, 7600 milliamp hours, and it will last you a nice while until you need to recharge it. I'm also a fan of an included fast charger and stylus. You can buy an additional keyboard and there is some kind of PC mode. I haven't checked it out cause, you know, this is not what I would use it for. You can also write down notes or draw with the stylus. I'm not good in this field, so I rather stick to gaming or watching YouTube videos. Overall, this tablet exceeded my expectations. In my opinion, it doesn't have bad price to performance ratio. If you can get it for cheap, it might be worth getting. I'm sure it can emulate even some 2D, 3DS games via Citra. Same like Unisoc uh, T618 chip. And you're not going to have any issues with the older lower end emulation like N64 and below. Thanks to you for watching. Thanks to company for sending this product for honest review. Thanks to members for support. Peace out.